This too must be due to the glory of the Emperor. I agree that the Emperor is somewhat responsible, but your brilliant idea to have soldiers tend the fields in times of peace is the real reason, Master Cao Cao. I agree. Everybody looks so happy when they're tending to the fields. Cao Cao, it seems your reputation is growing. We have men from across the land hoping to join our cause. Cao Ren is tending to them now. Excellent news! It's about time people learn just how great our lord really is. About that. There is something you should know, my lord. Liu Bei has been spotted within the group. Apparently, he was driven from Shu province by Lu Bu. It appears he is hoping to rally his troops here and enlist us to take on Lu Bu with him. Liu Bei. Shun Wu, what do you think we should do? Liu Bei is a man driven by emotion, not reason. I do not think you and he would get along. Master Shun Yo is not wrong, but Liu Bei is extremely popular with the common people. If he was in your army, that popularity would rub off on you, my lord. It is not in our present interest to go against the will of the people. Conversely, by taking Liu Bei in, we can demonstrate your greatness to the entire land. Hmm. I think we should go with Guo Xia's suggestion. I disagree, Cao Cao. Like Shun Wu says, Liu Bei and us are like fire and water. We need to deal with him before he is able to gain any more power. Yes. Liu Bei may have fought for Tao Qian against us in Shu province. However, he has no real talent to fear. We can simply use his charisma to our advantage. Besides, if we make Liu Bei an ally, that means we will also gain the services of his sworn brothers. I have made up my mind. Is that understood? Yes, my lord. I shall dutifully carry out your orders. Shahodun, I am going to meet with Liu Bei. I want you to set up the meeting for me. Very well. Once you've made up your mind, you're not the type to listen to further discussion. Tianwei, Shu Chu, I want you to keep a close eye on Liu Bei's men for us. Master Cao Cao, mm -hmm. why are you being so kind to me now? We once faced each other on the field of battle. The only one I was fighting was Tao Jian. I have nothing against you. If I killed everyone who opposed me, there would be none left in the land. That would be a waste, especially for those with talent. However... If you, like me, have all the makings of a true hero, then perhaps you are one as well. Forgive me. But a hero? As you can see, I'm just a man who's frightened by lightning. <laughs> Liu Bei, I do hope that we can both achieve what we are aiming for. Master Cao Cao, I am eternally grateful for the mercy you showed me, despite me turning my blade on you. Shu Huang, 
He originally served Yang Feng and fought against Cao Cao in a struggle for control of the emperor. However, he was later convinced by his friend Man Chong to serve Cao Cao instead. Meanwhile, numerous men surrendered to Cao Cao once he had the emperor under his protection. Among them was the powerful warlord, Zheng Chu. Cao Cao accepted Zheng Chu's invitation and set out towards Wan Castle alone. Going forward, I promise to wield my might for the sake of your most noble and glorious cause. Xu Huang, I was quite taken with your skill in battle. Your might and personality are just as impressive as Man Chong described them to me. Even more so, perhaps. I am glad to have you in my army. I look forward to seeing the contributions you will make to our forces. Master Men Chong, I appreciate you putting in a good word for me with Master Cao Cao. There is no need to thank me, my friend. Knowing Master Cao Cao as I do, it was only natural that he would welcome you with open arms. Master Cao Cao evaluates people solely on their talent and abilities. Our path will be difficult, but he is the one man capable of forging a new era for the land. I agree. That is why I will do my absolute best to fight for our cause. I shall swing my blade in service of Master Cao Cao's ambition. I can think of no better way to continue perfecting my might on the battlefield. <laughs> I expected nothing less from you, Master Xu Huang. I look forward to fighting many battles by your side. Master Shao Odun, pardon my interruption. We've just received a request for immediate reinforcements from Lord Zhao Ong's unit. What did you say? Yes, I believe Master Zhao Ong and Master Zhao Unmi were on patrol in the vicinity of Wen Castle. Lord Zhao Zhao and Dian Wei are inside Wen Castle. What's going on in there? I'm worried about them. And now we have received a request for reinforcements at Wen Castle? This means that Zhang Xu surrender is... 
Assemble the troops at once. We must hurry to Wan Castle. You're all right. Forgive me. I took Zhang Jiu's surrender at his word, but it was merely a ploy devised by his strategist, Jia Xu. Dian Wei took it upon himself to hold off the enemies in the castle so that I could escape. He was already badly injured when I left. In fact, it may be too late to save him. However, I still have to try. I understand. Let's make our way to the castle as quickly as possible. Please wait a moment. We are facing a strategist who managed to catch even Master Cao Cao off guard with his trap. It is dangerous to simply rush in there. He may be expecting Master Cao Cao to return to the castle and prepared another trap in response. In that case, how can we save Master Tian Wei? We launch a feint to draw the enemy's attention and use that opportunity to see what they're planning. I wonder what the enemy strategist is up to. If we can learn the overall framework, we'll know how to make our move. Very well. I shall leave the details to you, Guo Xia. Everybody, we must hurry to Wen Castle. We will use the decoy to draw the enemy in. Meanwhile, I will use that time to suss out their strategy. So this strategist is the one that gave Master Salsa such trouble. I am looking forward to turning the tables on him. Forces have made it all the way here. Incredible. They're that strong. Everyone, stand your ground. We will use the power of our cavalry to bury South South's forces for good. Reporting. Lord Dion Wei is fighting at one castle. There is still hope despite the circumstances. Knowing Dian Wei, I should not have expected anything less. I shall forge a report from Lord Hu Chi'e. A number of enemies have made it inside. That is rather careless of them. Are they up to something? Perhaps they are simply desperate. Either way, we cannot make our move until we deal with the enemy. They are small in number, so Master Huchir and I can handle them. <laughs> this one looks like trouble. I had best meet up with Master Huchir to deal with this threat. <laughs> Must smash the enemy base to pieces.
old Sal. The sheer shame of it. <laughs> <laughs> Two such monsters in South Sao's army. I have no choice but to surrender. It looks like we've taken care of the bulk of the enemy forces. Now it's time for me to really make my presence felt. That's one more stepping stone on my path to true might. No one is a match against me. Finished yet. I'll use every last bit of strength I have to protect my lord! Reporting! Lord Xiao Zhu and Lord Hu Jia have been defeated! What? We lost Jia Xu and Hu Jia? How can we fight without them? Stone on my path to true might. Try and keep up. Master Cao Cao accepted Zhang Xiu's surrender. Your safety was assured. So why did you try and assassinate our Lord? It is the tendency of the victor to rest on his laurels after a battle is won. I simply saw an opening for our side and exploited it. Cao Cao is nervous in regards to his upcoming showdown with Yuan Shao, no? As such, he immediately accepted our surrender. Surprisingly so, in fact. I never thought that I'd be able to take advantage of the situation to overcome such insurmountable odds. Of course, 
it mattered not in the end. Yes. It was only thanks to the efforts of Master Dion Wei that Master Cao Cao was able to escape. However, things could have easily gone quite differently. Where's Dion Wei? He is at peace now. Master Cao Cao. I will resist you no longer. You have bested us. I am ready to meet my fate, whatever you may deem it to be. In that case, Jiashu, I want you to join me. W wait a minute, my lord. You're planning to let him live, even after all he's done? If anybody should be punished, it should be me for falling victim to this trap and losing Dion Wei. Jiashu's talent as a strategist, the skill of Zheng Zhou's men to execute the plot. In my opinion, that is something to be rewarded, not punished. Jiashu, is it possible that you foresaw this very outcome? <laughs> I wonder. At any rate, I appreciate your rather generous punishment, Master Cao Cao. Guo Jia, I want you and Shun Yo to keep an eye on Jia Xu, at least for a while. I may covet his talent, but that does not mean we can trust him yet. I must do all that I can to quickly subdue the Central Plains and prepare for Yuan Shao's move south. Our next step is to advance on Shu Province and capture Xia Pi. That means we must face Lu Bu himself. Everyone, begin making the necessary preparations. Master Cao Cao, you must excuse this sudden visit. My sworn brother, Lu Bei, is in Xiao Pei, which has come under siege from Lu Bu's forces. I wish to request that you loan me some of your troops to repel Lu Bu. Hmm. So Lu Bu's finally making his move. He'd be better off staying in Xia Pi. There is merit in us eliminating Lu Bu from the equation. However, if we move now, Liu Biao may strike us from behind. Shunyo, tell me what you think. Lu Bu is currently the only active threat to us. Plus, there are no other forces that will go to his aid. We should take out Lu Bu before we face Yuan Shao. However, a siege will take time. If somebody else uses that opportunity to make their move, we'll be in trouble. In that case, how about this strategy? We dam the Ishui and Sushui rivers that run near Shapi, inundating the castle with water. That is a brilliant idea. We will channel the water into the castle at Shapi. We simply need to seize control of the floodgates to make it happen. Very well. We shall proceed with your plan. Begin making preparations for the flood attack. This is our best chance to slay the demon Lu Bu. The best way to bring down... ...P Castle is with a flood attack. I am confident that Master Guojia and I will be successful. A flood attack. Guojia and Shun Yo are brilliant indeed. Everyone, this is our chance to rid ourselves of Lu Bu for good. Fall back, or I will be forced to cut you. 
you down where you stand. Master Jia Shu has ordered me to stop you. I don't plan on letting him down. Uniforms ready? Okay, we're going to follow Master Jia Shu's plan and head for Shou Jun. against me. Pang Castle belongs to Master Lubu. You will not take it. Master Leo Bei's family is here. I will die before I let anything happen to them. For your help. Your aid helped us keep Pen Castle from being lost. No one is a match against me. That's it. Keep it up. Those of you who support Lu Bu know that to oppose me is to invite death upon yourselves. Such arrogance! Everyone, this is the final battle! Fight your hardest! I'm finished. I won't resist anymore. Do what you will with me. Resistance is futile. I'm surrendering to you now. Do with me as you will. Everyone, pour into the castle. Take care that you're not swept away by the water, though. No one is a match against me. Very good. I shall... What? Why is the gate opening? Cao Cao's forces have attacked? Something soon will be swallowed whole by Lubu's army. 
I never thought I'd be coming to Liu Bei's rescue. However, Cao Cao's orders on the matter are clear. No! I've been defeated? You're joking! grateful for your aid. Your appearance has saved our very lives. We can't afford to waste time here. We must press forward and capture Shaw P. Castle. No one is a match against me. You rabble! Cut the enemy supply line! That will stop them moving around! The purpose of a battle is for warriors to test their might against one another. It is not to be spent worrying about supply lines. I have been tasked with defending Ding Tao. I cannot afford to fall in battle to you here. What? Oh, we made contact with the supply unit. Now we can attack without worry. Okay, that takes care of my duties here. Now, we'll move on to Ding Tao. No one is a match against me! Words cannot describe your skills, Shu Huang. I think you've already achieved true might. You are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. Let me understand. You plan on breaking the floodgates and flooding Xiaopi? I will never allow that! This is our best chance to kill Lu Bu. Therefore, I refuse to let anybody stand in our way. is that parcel of land. Prepare to move! All right. I need everyone to defend this area. This is nothing. Now, face my full strength. We can begin moving towards Shapi Castle. We will meet up with our allies on the front lines and slay Lu Bu. 
no one is a match against me. I'm amazed. I didn't expect you to be this good. Well, what do you think? I'd say we look just like Lu Bu's soldiers. Do not worry. We look like Lu Bu's men. What's out, Cho? Let's get the supplies. You're Lu Bu's people. I suppose you're here to beg for my help again. My lord, how should we answer? What is your response? I will let our men know. So what is it you want this time? Soldiers? Provisions? So, how should we reply? Please, make a decision! I see. So that's what you're after. What of the agreement we reached regarding the marriage between my son and Lu Bu's daughter? Has Lu Bu mentioned that? So, how should we reply? Please, make a decision! Hmm. I don't like the sound of that. That is most unsatisfactory. Are you sure there are no signs of rebellion within your ranks? I can't risk helping you if there are any murmurings of discontent. Ah, that was a mistake. You and Shu's eyes are full of suspicion. I see. So that's what you're after. You may say you need provisions, but it's not as if my forces have any to spare, you know? Ah, that was a mistake. You and Shu's eyes are full of suspicion. I see. So that's what you're after. Hmm. Very well. I will give you some provisions, but make sure you don't forget the marriage talks we agreed to. Okay, we've got their provisions. Everything is going just like Master Jia Xu planned. Lord Cao Chou, the supplies are already on their way to Xu Chung and Ding Tao. I'm glad that went well. Wow, you're better than... The situation isn't too bad, but I am... Ah, you have my grad... Thank you. has fallen in the name of my master. The enemy is far from home, relying on their supplies. They've cut off their lifeline. The enemy is certain to target our supply lines. We must make sure that their defenses are intact. I have been tasked with Xu Chung's defense. I cannot afford to lose this battle in experience. How strong Cao Cao's forces are! I couldn't do a thing against them! The 
reporting. Our supplies have been secured. Now we can... ...march without worry. Okay. Our preparations are complete. I'll go on ahead. To aid with Xu Chung's defense. No one is a match against me! infiltrated the castle. Ambassador Lubu, I suggest a plan to deal with them. I do not need a plan to crush insects. I will just stomp on whoever I see. Witness true might! They must be targeting the floodgates to launch a flood attack against us. We cannot allow that to come to pass. I cannot allow them to interfere with our strategy. I must hurry on ahead. Bested. Even after giving it my all, you have earned my respect. I shall surrender to you quite. Advance! Do not slow down! Advance! Guogia. We completely destroyed this floodgate. Yes, that is wonderful news. It looks like I accomplished my duty admirably. intruders from the ramparts I know it's the I have prepared ah water I hadn't thought of water no one is a match against me 
Okay, that takes care of things here. Now, to meet up with Master Cao Cao and the others. Oh, thank you. This I'm glad that went well. Yes. Brilliant work. Can't do anything about this water attack. You should surrender to Cao Cao. Liu Bu is without justice, and Liu Bu's army is without bravery. I wish to join Cao Cao. I suppose it's our job to defend this place. Liu Bu is simply pathetic. Despite all of his strength, he was unable to win the hearts of his retainers. With you officers on my side, the foundation for my ambition has been solidified. Now, throw open the gates and welcome your new ruler. No one is a match against me. It is an honor to fight alongside Your skills are impressive. I've learned a lot from watching you. Now, take defensive positions. We're gonna secure the area. Let's go. We're gonna secure the area. So Shopee is to be the place where my dreams are ended. It is most vexing to watch one's vision clouded by violence and stupidity. Very good. I shall remember your efforts. We're gonna secure the area. Let's go! is to capture that area.
while shunning intellect and cunning. That is what led to your downfall, you boo. I lost to someone weaker than me. It's something called strategy, Boo Boo. Someone like you, who depends on physical strength, will never beat me. Then tell me, what would happen if you add my strength to this thing you call strategy? So you wish to pledge service to me? <sighs> Master Tsao Tsao, is a beast. Don't let desire for strength deceive you. Uh, damn you, Liu Bei! Uh, uh, Farewell, Liu. Let your pride in being the best die with you here in Xiaoping. Master Cao Cao, you have my most profound gratitude for your aid. That was my best chance to finally slay Lu Bu. There is no need for you to thank me. That may be so, but I owe you a debt nonetheless. My word is my bond. Guan Yu, I wish to speak with you for a moment. I would like for you to join my cause. Your might is equal to that of the fearsome Lu Bu. I could use one of your skill and valor. I am not worthy of such praise, but my place is alongside my sworn brother Liu Bei. I am afraid I must decline your generous offer. Liu Bei does not even begin to comprehend the magnitude of your greatness. I care not what others may think. I will serve and support my brother. Forgive me. Cao Cao, don't grow too fond of Guan Yu. He will never agree to serve alongside us. I wouldn't be so quick to give up on him. There is still a possibility that we may be able to use him. Even if only for a short while. Master Cao Cao, Yuan Shao will defeat Gong Sun Zun before long. As such, it is only a matter of time before he makes his move south. Liu Bei enjoys the service of the mighty Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. We should utilize them to defeat Yuan Shu while we still have the chance. Indeed, Guo Jia. The showdown for Hua Bei draws near, meaning we must quickly subdue the Central Plains in order to prepare for our own confrontation with Yuan Shao. Who's that? Brother, excuse me for a moment. Master Xu Huang, the battle has only just finished, and yet you are training? I must say, I find your dedication to your art most impressive. Oh, Master Guan Yu, I am honored to receive praise from such a legendary warrior. I will always cherish the experience of fighting by your side. Of course, it only served to show me that I still have much room for improvement. Mm. If you have room to improve, then the same could be said for me. We must both continue to commit ourselves to our cause. I apologize for interrupting your training. I will bother you no further. 